Hey guys, Emery99 here and welcome to a new episode. We're back in the Tour de France game to continue our pro team journey with Tudor Pro Cycling. And today we are in Euro Tour, the Benelux Tour as I would like to call it. Um, we've got flat stages, hilly stages and also cobble stages just like the classics of the Flanders. Okay, where we left off, we were 18th in the Pro Cycling rankings, which is our aim but it is a too close of a margin for comfort so here in this euro tour we'll try to accumulate as much as points as possible you can see the route here champagnol bear belfort Gerard mary hilly stage ending in a sprint then the fourth stage eper to arambeck porta hindout with cobbled sectors and finally a bit of flanders classics in antwerp to outer quaremont finishing on top of the quaremont so yeah Basically a race for classic riders and the classic specialists. And here is our squad. Matteo Trentin with 75 cobbles, 74 sprints, 74 acceleration and 74 hills. He's the main man for the GC. However, four stages we have both Dainese and Arvid Decline. Decline has 70 cobbles. Dainese also has 70 cobbles, but Dainese is a bit better in the hills. Today's sprint is also on a little bit of a false flat, so it's going to be either Dainese or Arvid Decline. I mean, um, I really don't know who to go for. Arvid Decline with a plus two is 81 sprint, so we'll go for Decline, but we'll also try to keep Dainese in a good position so the AI can try to sprint in a good result as well. Okay, looking at our opponents today, though, I see Jonathan Milan, Jasper Philipsen is here. Is Olaf Koy here? I I would hope I would think so. Arno Deli is here, and also Tim Merlier. So the world's best sprinters are in present, as we are now fighting for position for the first intermediate sprint. With 1.5 kilometers to go, we're not going to be able to get a good position as we're so far behind. So we have to go early, try to get that advantage following Jordi Moose. trying to get the slipstream off him. Jakobsen, Philipsen, Moose. Can we beat Moose as well? I think we can. Yes, nice. 15 points with Arvid Decline. Uh, yeah, we need to fight for also the points classification, but it's good signs ahead of the finish. Can we beat Joran Bloom? When's he going to start sprinting? I think now. Let's also try sprinting. It's not so steep. So, Alexander Kamp with the acceleration. We're going to easily take it. Head of Joran Bloom. And as we have a visual bug here, Alexander Kamp. I mean, I hope I get 18 points. That'll certainly help. We got caught back by the Peloton, but we're going to attack again just to take these points um, with Kamp. Hopefully, we haven't gone too early, but no. No contest from the Peloton. We are able to get our second point of the day and basically claim. The KOM jersey for now, but not by a great margin. Just two points. Okay, last four kilometers. We are ready for the mass sprint. Trying to fight for position. Not losing any red bar is important. With three kilometers to go, we now enter Bern City. 2.6 now. 1.9. Philipsen in a slightly better position than us. They're now starting the sprint. It's a bit of a false flat. 1.4 to go. I think we have to go now. Are we going a little bit too late? I think not though. We have the energy or not. I'm not sure. Wow. This was difficult. I don't know how the AI has that much of an energy but we are nowhere it's a win for Kokar but what's worse is Kofidis and Arkea getting points now we drop to 19th place in the pro cycling ranking okay stage two it's very very hilly terrain today actually quite hard for sprinters our best hill rider is Alexander Kamp but we have the KOM jersey so we'll try the breakaway again our first attack wasn't successful, so we have to go again. We're trying to counter-attack the moves. Not sure it will be possible. 
Will the Peloton accept our counter-attacking move? The pacing quite higher still. Second climb of the day in Enkorn and Steuven are a little bit too strong for us as we risk a blowout and not going to be able to get any points. With 18 kilometers to go, that breakaway has also been caught. Now need to anticipate attacks as we have Derek Chi going again just after being caught. I think we have to follow these moves with Matteo Trentin. He is our final man after all. But we have to follow riders like Alaphilippe here. More attacks here. Remco, Evenepoel, Pogacar going on the attack. I really did not expect a stage like this when I looked at the profile. Evenepoel, Mohoric, Alaphilippe and Pogacar are in front. Descent towards the finish now. Wow, what a stage it has been. Evenepoel and Pogacar fighting it out here in the Euro Tour. Now, this is only a group of 12 as well. So, with Matteo Trentin, we've done well to survive the hills. And now it's all about the sprint finish to try to get the best results as possible. Now, 13 rider group Pogacar has been caught. Seven kilometers to go. Five kilometers to go. Alaphilippe is going to be back also. Don't want to be the first leading out. There's the attack from Matej Mohoric. There's the attack from Matej Mohoric. We don't have any gels left. We use them all to survive. Now we're in the wheels of Matteo van der Poel. Just try to stick to the wheels and hope for the best. Now in the wheel of Tadej Pogacar, 2.6 to go. And Mohoric with another acceleration here. 2.1 to go. We need to time our launch perfectly. We don't have the full red bar, so I'm going to wait until the Flamme Rouge here. Van der Poel goes for it. McNulty goes for it. Oh, there's a little bit of uphill as well. Seriously? Anyway, we're going to go for it now. 700 meters to go. We're following McNulty and Trotnik. Matthew van der Poel seems to be going for the stage win. Can we beat him? Can we get second place with Van van Aert next to us with the finish line? Yes, we can. Good result by Matteo Trentin. Really showing why he's the boss of this terrain. In that reduced sprint, getting second place and valuable points. Both for the GC and the stage. Matthew van der Poel was a little bit too strong, but a great result nevertheless. Yes, Matthew Trentin gets second place in the sprint, also gaining five seconds to the other eight riders in that group. So that means in the general classification, we are also second, moving up 58 places just behind Matthew van der Poel. If we can get a top three in this tour would be massive as there's no time trial. It also helps us. And in the climber standings, Kamp with four points now down to fourth place in the points. We've got points with four different riders, so not a great strategy there, but Trentin is currently in 10th place. And with those points, we're also now 16th in the pro cycling rankings, so good results overall. H3, um, yeah, let's go for an attack. Alexander Klomp. I think we can use this first attack motion to create a breakaway in this hill. Oh no. Oh no, Pascal, no. Pascal, no. Pascal, I need that point, please. Thank you. Yes, good. Unfortunately, the breakaway has been caught and there was a second attack which Kamp, with his low energy, didn't want to go for it. Um, now it's time for the intermediate sprint to get some few more points in the green classification. And Arvid Klein goes for it. Jasper Philipsen next to us. Phillips and currently a little bit faster, and I think I went a bit too early, which means, yeah, I'm going to take fourth place in the peloton, so that is seven points for Arvid de Klein. Okay, the fourth category climb has been passed. The peloton led by Little Trek is currently leading, and we are in the wheel of Mats Petersen. Pretty, pretty solid wheel, in my opinion. We have the yellow jersey, Matti van der Poel, moving up on the left hand side. Okay, the pace is really, really increased now. 5k to go. 
Jakobsen and Philipsen were trying to follow the wheel and there's the climb that is going to be crucial in today. Small uphill rise. We're going to say Trentin to come to the front because it's a finish that suits him also. Look at Arvid the Klein. His red bar is already halfway. That is really not what we wanted to see with three kilometers to go. Following up, Kupsen now. I mean, yeah, Trentin's red bar is full. It might be a good opportunity to go for him, but look at his place. He's 55th in the peloton. What is he doing right now? So, yeah, it has to. We have to stick with maybe Dainese. So, Arvid the Klein's climbing stats not that great. Yeah, let's go with Dainese actually. 2.2 kilometers to go. We do have the good, we have the positioning. We just don't need to get blocked here right now. Now, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, Alberto Dainese. Dainese following me. Here, my following moves. Can we get some good results here? Top five, maybe. Maybe top five. I think that's what we had to work with here. I mean, that final hill was a little bit more steeper than expected, and Arvid declined with his secondaries. Really not up to it. Okay, in the end, it's a P6, so not the worst result, but expected more. Okay, stage four and the cobblestone stage from Eper to Aremberg for the high now with a lot of hard sector. You can see the orange and the red colors in the profile. Matteo Trentin, our sole leader today, 75 cobbles, 74, 76 flat, and a plus two on the day. So let's see how far we can go in this stage against the likes of Wout van Aert and Matti van der Poel. Okay, the cobbled sectors are here, and nine sectors in total today. We are in the eighth sector, so it means eight to go, obviously. Enneveland to Pont Thibault, it's three stars. And yeah, right now, it's all about staying at good position and try to save as much as energy as possible. So that's what we're trying to do. Now with 33 kilometers to go, the pace hasn't been so high. So I'm sending two teammates to come to the front, Joel Suter and Alberto Dainese. And maybe in the next couple sector, we can increase the tempo a little bit and try to catch the breakaway as well. Stage win is also important for us for that bonus seconds. Ooh, big crash! Crash behind! And Lutsenko is down. That means we have a group of 31 now. Okay, big crash. Kamp is at the group behind, but I don't think any of our riders were involved in that. Okay, 29 kilometers to go. This is a good opportunity for us. Okay, attack by Tom Pitcock at the start of the sector. I think I'm going to try to follow that. Let's all stop facing here. Uh, persist without limit and actually um, can't disturb relays, can we? Yeah, I don't think we can. So yeah, do not work with anyone. And yeah, we are going to stick to the wheel of Tom Pitcock. I don't think we've made a big gap though, and Pitcock's not following us. Pitcock, work with us, man. Come on. No? Yeah, that was not the smartest move. Pitcock has been caught now. And now Wout van Aert goes. Wout van Aert goes. And yeah. We have to try to pace in the front, maybe? Or no, let's just protect Trentin with Arvid the Klein. Because, yeah, Wout van Aert, I mean, one of the favorites, and no one is following at the moment. Short Bucks now has come to the front. Oh no, they're attacking on the flat sectors. Oh no. Should not lose contact. Arvid the Klein literally uses all energy trying to keep us in the front. And now we are all alone here. 
in this selective group of 17 with 17 kilometers to go. Art van Art's about to be caught. And let's see who will be this next one to make an attack. We are going to follow Matthew van der Poel as he goes for a move. You don't need to go that fast. Let's just try to stick to the wheels here. Mohoric here struggling a little bit. Pedersen, Kung. We are in the elite group here. And with our amazing form, we can try to go for something special. But the breakaway is still ahead as well. They're not a threat for the general classification. But when we're doing that good, I mean, a breakaway stage would hurt a little bit. I mean, this sector, 3.7 kilometers, it's absolutely killing everyone. Four stars and, yeah, over four kilometers. We're now trying to follow Jordi Muse to try to stay in this group. Come on. Okay. We survived here. Now we can rest just a little bit. Okay, Jasper Philipsen is dropping. And now another attack by Matthew van der Poel. Certainly don't have the energy to follow that. Matthew van der Poel a little bit too strong for us, expectedly. We are waiting on the wheels of Wout van Aert. Can he respond here? Mohoric is here as well. We need to mark him. 1.6 kilometer sector, I mean... After Matthew van der Poel's attack, the GC lead and the stage looks impossible for us right now. But it's all about trying to stick with this group and mark Mohoric and Wout van Aert as possible if we want a podium. Okay, four kilometers to go. I still have a little bit of energy. It's, I don't really want to risk a blow up. So, oh, there's the attack from Polit and Wout van Aert. Wout van Aert goes. We're trying to follow Niels Polit with three kilometers to go. Come on, follow Polit. Follow Polit. Come on. Let's try to get a little bit of red bar. Are we catching Matty van der Poel? We are catching Matty van der Poel. 1.9 kilometers to go. I don't want to risk a blow up. Our blue bar is not there at the moment, so. Soren Verenschuld under the Flamme Rouge. Wout van Aert goes for it. Now stops though. Now it's time for the sprint. We are going for it as well. We are in the wheel of Wout van Aert. We are going to pass Wout van Aert. Can we get third place in the stage? Come on, yes. Fifth place in the stage. Very, very good result by Matteo Trentin. Well, we did what we can. Matteo Trentin comes on fifth in the cobble stage. But... At what cost? I mean, look at Seneschal for Arkea winning a stage. So they're getting more points for us. But in the general classification, we still are second. Just four seconds behind Mathieu van der Poel. And six seconds ahead of Wout van Aert. Uno X and Arkea getting more than 30 points this stage. But we get 12. And in a good place to get even more after the general classification. So 17th place for us. Still looking good. Now we need to do all of that again as we have the Ronde van Flanderen, the mini Ronde van Flanderen, a stage from Antwerp and ending in Oude Quaremont, 162 kilometers, but the last 30 kilometers will be the main action. Again, plus two for Trentin. And we also have a goal with Alexander Kamp. We're just two points behind Steuven. So maybe the breakaway option or try to stay in the peloton. I don't know. I think we'll try the breakaway first with Alexander Kamp as well. Okay, we are in the breakaway at camp, but we have spent a little bit too much energy. Still 51 kilometers to go and 2 minutes 21, the gap with the peloton. So, just hoping no one goes for it and I'm very wrong. Plenty of people trying to sprint for the KOM points. I have to go early. Try to recover a bit and do another acceleration. No, not going to happen. So, no point for us. Okay, 11 kilometers to go. Kruisberg up next. And Wout van Aert is going to attack. Or not. We kind of blocked him a little bit. 
Our riders in front pacing right now. We're in the wheel of Wout van Aert. He's trying to find an escape here as they do. Magnus Sheffield attacks and Wout van Aert follows. He's trying to get out of the peloton. Watch out. And the attack not successful. It's got going for it now with Valens. But a lot of corners in this section to navigate. Pitcock maybe will go for it in the downhill. Matthew van der Poel is actually left behind. But no. Yeah, he is. Matthew van der Poel is actually left behind. 7.7 kilometers. But with the tax, they're going to be back. Yeah, we are going to follow Magnus Sheffield here. Five kilometers to go. Yeah, the attack wasn't successful and maybe not the greatest idea there, but now 3.6 kilometers to go. Can we make the difference and even gain seconds on Matthew van der Poel? It's going to be difficult as we enter the last three kilometers of the stage. How the Quaramon starts now and there they go. Matthew van der Poel, Wout van Aert. We are in the wheels of Wout van Aert now. The cobbled sec section starts and Wout van Aert with an incredible acceleration here. We can't seem to be following him at the moment. No more red bar for us. Oh no. Matthew van der Poel distances us as well. Now it's all about Matej Mohoric. Come on Valens. Come on Valens. Take us to the front. As much as you can, mate. Oyer Lascano is here. I mean, it was such a big mistake to make that attack following Sheffield. That's where we lost it right now. But it's okay. It's still a great result by Matteo Trentin. Sprinting to the line. And also going to end up in 7th place. 8th place, actually. Pretty good. Wait, what? Morich was ahead? Morich was ahead? No! Oh my god, Morich was ahead. Okay, we keep it by one second. Oh my god. Vanderpool wins by one second. We keep the third place by one second. That is crucial. In the climbers, we have to stick with third place. Not the greatest, but Kamp gave it all in the last stage. Um, unfortunately, he was in the wrong breakaway. So, no points for him. In the points, we should have just gone all out with Trentin. But still, it wouldn't be possible to get the result we will hope for as Philipson gets 93 points in the young rider 8 and 9 and in the team 6 but we win the combativity classification with Alexander Kamp that's I think 10 more points to us so that's pretty crucial as well and individual pro cycling ranking Kamp 50 points the Kamp 50th Trentin 52nd and in the team we move up to 16th place this is pretty good because Kofid is 19th with 280 points, so top 18 seems to be secured for now. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed the Euro Tour with Tudor Pro Cycling. Next episode will be for the climbers as we go to Open Tour climbing Luz Ardiden and also two more mountain stages in this ferocious terrain. But until then, it's me, Emery99. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next episode.